Hi. So, if you haven't been able to tell from some of my other videos, I really love dresses. And I have this dream that when I get older, because people make dresses, and I'm a person, I want to be able to just like craft a gown for myself. And as of right now, um, my hands are not the best. But in addition to that, I just don't know how to sew. I can do like cute little things like take stuff in, but I can't put together a gown yet. And I'm not gonna get there unless I just start sewing. So I don't know what I'm doing today, but I have this idea. I went to my local Trader Joe's and I saw this cute bag, it was like $2.99 and I thought, that could be a really cute top. <laughs> so we're gonna try to make it today. I wanted to show this to you. The local library, you can rent art, like you can rent books. And I got this painting of Albert Einstein by a 10 year old. I just really like it. <laughs> so, I was kind of creepy actually. So this is the Trader Joe's bag. And I was thinking it would be like a halter top. I don't know my title on. <laughs> That was Albert. <laughs> so this is a bit too long. I want it to be a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna like pinch and sew and then cut off the rest of this. So I just end tighten it a little bit, but I'd have to cut like a slit down here so I can put it over me like a shirt. And then I think I want to put in some darts right here. So it's quite fitted and I would use a zipper in the back. So the first step is just to cut the bottom, I guess. Also, I went back to see if they had extra in case I messed up, and they don't. So, wish me luck! <laughs> Very sharp scissors. <laughs> There's the pistol. No! <laughs> Alright, messed up. That's fine. No! Did I? I don't think I did. Well... Slightly. It's okay. I'm just going to... Make it a crop top. Okay. Let's try it on. Okay. Here it is so far. <laughs> is this a dumb idea? Already, I love it. <laughs> I think that I'm right that if I pull it down all the way, it's too low. So I want to have it up around here. And then this is the other thing I didn't consider. I still have a strap in the back. Sorry, let me stop being lazy and actually get up. So far, I think it could be very cute. <laughs> to get a standing look of the before. I've taken this on the side, still have the green down here. We have a strap hanging down and we have to put in, you know, a zipper. So the first thing I want to do is to remove the back strap. That has been sewn in with this design on the inside. So I'm going to use this, which is called a seam ripper. It kind of looks like this pointed piece and you put this under the seam and it goes down to this little hook, which has a sharper edge. And you just go and you rip out the seam. Okay, so this is what the finished back looks like. So yeah, that's all done. Hey, what's up you guys? Um, it's been weeks and I haven't done anything on the shirt because I'm scared. Because I don't know what I'm doing and what if I mess it up? <sighs> but then I got lunch with an old professor and he said something that changed my life, bitch. So <laughs> uh, we were talking about something else and I was like, I want to do this, but I'm afraid. And so he says, okay, do it afraid. Sorry about that angle <laughs> for all of this. Let's do the shirt. I know I want a zipper in the back, so I'm just gonna cut the back in half. So I cut the back open and then I just kind of cut around all the places where it was folded to have the underneath part of the bag. So it's one flat piece of fabric. And now I'm gonna try to sew in the zipper. For the invisible zipper to work, I need to fold this in and then put this here. So in order to sew this, if I unfold it, I'm gonna be sewing it like this, which is very counterintuitive. But what I just realized is that I won't be doing that at all. <laughs> because 
because this doesn't come undone and I wouldn't be able to put on the shirt. So I'm going to go to Joanne Fabrics. Everyone say hi to Lisa. She's my roommate and she's my cam though. <laughs> so we're going to go to Joanne's Fabric. It's the Joanne's Fabrics. And I'm hoping there's someone there I can talk to because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm really embarrassed to bring this out in public. <laughs> but I need help. The invisible zippers, no matter what, will not come undone. So we're going to move to a polyester zipper. And these ones have the ability... <laughs> These ones have the ability to be shortened by sewing it in enough detail, but I can shorten it. So I just have to find the right color. I don't really know what yellow to put. Is it weird to make it green like that color? No, that's a fantastic idea. I think maybe I want to match it to the straps. Is that a good match? What? <laughs> Go <Going> blue. <laughs> I think this is a good match because I think this one's too dark. Is it? Oh. Come it below. <laughs> We've made a final decision. Thank you for all your comments below. <laughs> so this one matches the down here pretty well, but that's going to be gone. We're going to cut that off. What this is going to be next to is the leaves and that one matches the leaves better. So we're going to go with the darker zipper. Ding, 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 ding. 14, 20, 22, 22. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so much This is giving me great inspiration. Because I see so many fabrics that I would love to make dresses out of, but I'm not allowed to buy anything until I finish this and I like it. Or else I'd just be wasting my money, which I don't have. Don't follow me. <laughs> this is how I've pinned it. I'm going to go very slow. That was fast. <laughs> okay. okay, this does not look bad. I chose a golden thread to kind of match the yellow part of the... I don't know why I'm lying, I just had a gold thread on here and I didn't want to change it. So now I've folded this side and pinned it at the top and bottom. And I'm just going to line it up about the same distance away that this one is and so the other side and then we'll fix the bottom because the zipper is a little bit longer than this shirt so <laughs> for the first time ever installing a zipper i feel like this is not that bad hi i know this outfit is weird <laughs> i just wanted to show you the updates um it's a little bit big around here the armpits so i'm going to take it in just at the very top i want to take it in a slight bit more on either side like maybe half an inch. I like this bordering of the green so I'm thinking about maybe sectioning it and keeping it when I make it a bit shorter but I'm not sure. I think without the green it's not awful. Okay so I think we're at the final stages of the shirt. So I'll, I'll turn it inside out to show you what I've done. I had just pinched together and sewn this part here so it is shorter around my neck. I installed the green zipper and by like folding back these pieces so it's nicely finished and I hemmed the bottom on the front and the back. And then the way it was fitting, I'll then put a clip here, when I had it trimmed to this original line here, it fit just fine, but it was a little bit bulkier and the only reason why I wanted to steer away from that with this is because this is a grocery bag and I want it to look not like a bag. <laughs> so I decided to make it a little more fitted. So this green stitching here you can see that I kind of just took in the waist a little bit on either side, really mildly on this side because it already kind of had a, a curve to the bodice. But I think it looks cool. The whole reason why I went in to get a new zipper is because the other one that I had um, was like this where it didn't come apart at the end. And so I was told to get this one. Kind of like what I wanted is one that's like at the end of a jacket where you can separate the two sides of it. So I can get hardware and fix this one, but it just costs a bit more. And this is a uh, grocery bag shirt, so I didn't... I'm just gonna tuck this into my little pants. So, are you ready for the reveal? I want to be able to just, like, craft a gown for myself. And I'm not gonna get there unless I just start sewing. Are you guys ready to see it? <laughs> so, this is what it looks like. I think it came out pretty good! I like the hem of it. The strap, I think, is at a good length where the shirt's like not too low. 
I like the Trader Joe's, and I even like the bat. I have no idea if I'm getting this. <laughs> the zipper. Did I get it? So this is the top. I think it fits pretty well for my first sewing project, where I'm starting with just kind of like a scrap fabric. I don't know. I think it's cool. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is that the back is a little like wrinkled, but I do like the green zipper. So I have a shirt that says Trader Joe's on it. I think I have to go to Trader Joe's and show it off. Vestibule. <laughs> you have what? No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you have what? You have vestibule? Nothing. <laughs> anyway, what's <laughs> up, you guys? Um, There's a car coming. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. So sorry. So sorry. The guy's like, can you move? You're like, hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, you guys? So this is Maya. You remember her from other videos. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. I'm not too excited about it. I'm actually really nervous. I just want to see if maybe anyone will say anything. Um, so yeah, let's go. I'm excited because I'm gonna get Scandinavian swimmers. Um, the parking lot is empty. <laughs> Hey guys, we're at the scene. Trader Joe's lost power and they closed down. So we're gonna go home. I'll give you the tour. So this is the shirt out in the daylight. It looks like this. What do you guys think? What do you think? Hello? <laughs> I'm trying to zoom in. What do you think? Okay, that's gonna be all for today's video. That was so fun. I was surprised that, I don't know, I think it went pretty well for my first project. And now I'm just way too excited and I think I'm just gonna do a dress. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> this is the inspiration of what I'm thinking. Stay tuned for that. Also, I wanted to tell you some really exciting news. Um, there's a channel called shift.ms, which is like an international multiple sclerosis charity that watch some of my stuff and um, they want me to be a part of their channel. So I'll be talking with other people that have MS and we'll be sharing lifestyle content or like reacting to clips and stuff and talking about MS in general, which is like a really, I don't know, it's like a big honor. That's really cool that they saw my stuff and thought that I might be good for that. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll put links down below and until next time, see you later. I'm having these. I got too many.